Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week with me, Michael Wheeler. This week we have been buzzing about this question from John. We know that flies process movement much quicker than humans, which is why it's really hard to swat them. But is it true that if you move slow enough, then the fly will not register the movement and therefore you can actually get it? So without winging an answer to this one ourselves, we put it to our listeners, and Ian, from Melbourne, Australia, has discovered that confusing the fly with a clap of the hands makes the job easier. But what does our expert think? Here is animal vision specialist Kate Feller from the University of Cambridge. After discussing this question with several researchers at an animal vision conference in Finland, literally as naked scientists in the sauna, we all agree, yes, this is possible. Because fly motion vision is processed very fast, you can theoretically trick the fly by just moving very slowly. How fast the edges of your hand expand relative to the fly's vision is what triggers it to flee, so a slow hand could confuse the fly. However, because the fly motion vision is so sensitive, you would have to move so slowly that either you get bored and give up, or the fly just takes off because, you know, flies don't stay in one place for very long. Some alternative methods are to hold perfectly still and watch the fly until it starts washing itself, then strike quickly while it's distracted, just like jumping them in the shower. You can also approach the fly at a normal speed, and instead of slapping it, clap your hands just above the fly to intercept it as it takes off. The old trap and clap method. This one can even be done on the fly. One other solution that a colleague recommended, and I have personally yet to try, is to spread your fingers wide on the same surface as the fly and pull your middle finger back like a slingshot while you slowly slide your hand towards the fly and quickly release the cocked finger once the bug is in range. Since the fly is being approached from multiple directions, it should be confused enough to not take off as it would normally to an approaching hand, so you can effectively squish it when you release your middle finger. I'll definitely be experimenting with this method. So to any flies out there, beware the naked scientists. Next week, we will be beaming out an answer to this question from Jason. Our new house is 140 metres from a cell phone tower. As a family, the three of us feel like we have been affected to different degrees in terms of sleep, motivation and anxiety, which are commonly reported symptoms of exposure to microwave radiation. It's a controversial topic, but are there any major health risks with living close to a phone tower? So what do you think? You can email chris at nakedscientists.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or join the debate on the forum. That's nakedscientists.com forward slash forum. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>